Europe has a new gateway to space. Today, the EU inaugurated its first orbital launch pad on the European mainland. It's the latest sign that the space race is heating up here in Europe as well. The new EU facility in Arctic Sweden will complement Europe's other spaceport in tropical French Guiana. It's designed to launch small satellites, which can be used, for example, to track natural disasters in real time or to monitor active conflicts like the war in Ukraine. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen joined Swedish and EU dignitaries at the ribbon-cutting ceremony today. It's a big moment. It's a big moment for Europe. It's a big moment for Europe's space industry. This spaceport offers an independent European gateway to space. The current geopolitical situation, not least, of course, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, has demonstrated how important it is that the European Union has access to space. And I am thrilled to welcome the Director General of the European Space Agency now, Josef Aschbacher. He just got back from Kiruna. Mr. Aschbacher, thank you so much for making time for us tonight on this very special day for you, I'm assuming. How big of a day was this for the European Space Agency? Oh, welcome and thank you for having me. It was a big day for, for Sweden, but also for space in Europe. You have just heard the uh, President of the Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, outlining the importance of this uh, of this launch board. And this is something quite unique. We have, of course, uh, the European launch board in French Guiana in Kourou, uh, which is launching uh, all kinds of uh, satellites and rockets, uh, but uh, particularly the larger ones. And what we have seen today, uh, inaugurated by His Majesty the King uh, and uh, the European uh, Commission, is having a new, smaller uh, facility which is capable of launching smaller satellites and what we call micro-launchers uh, from European soil. So there's a, it's a bit like having a big airport like uh, Frankfurt or Heathrow, uh, and then you have regional airports uh, in different countries and different places. And that's what we inaugurated today, like a smaller airport, a smaller spaceport uh, for smaller rockets and smaller satellites. You say the new launch facility is a critical asset for Europe. Why is that? Uh, it's critical because, uh, first of all, uh, having uh, another launch pad on European soil and not uh, too far away from uh, European mainland is, uh, is important. It makes uh, transport and uh, logistics much easier. But the other thing is that, uh, uh, that we, uh, we are testing on this launch pad uh, a new type of rocket. Uh, we call it uh, Temis uh, with uh, an engine uh, called Prometheus which is a, a European reusable engine. And I don't need to explain how many times uh, we see the other side of the Atlantic, in particular with SpaceX, and Europe is now investing in getting a, a reusable launcher, and this is actually happening there because we at the European Space Agency have developed this engine uh, with the uh, first stage, and we will do some so-called hot tests uh, from this uh, launch pad in uh, Kiruna in Sweden. And part of this is about independent access to space for Europe, but isn't the need for international cooperation a great source of opportunity and knowledge sharing in the space industry? Uh, it's always the same if you have uh, international cooperation. Of course, we do that, and we are a very strong partner of NASA in particular. its own assets, its own investments, and that's exactly what we're doing. So here at the European Space Agency, I'm really uh, raising the ambition of space in Europe. We had a very uh, successful ministerial conference just uh, uh, two months ago uh, where we got a record subscription by European member states for new programs and new activities. And yes, independent access to space is part of this uh, European strategy, and this is what we need to reinforce. Why did you choose Kiruna? Are insights closer to the equator generally more suitable for satellite launches? Uh, it's true that uh, if you are closer to the equator, it's good to launch uh, geostationary satellites. Uh, but uh, what Kiruna will launch is uh, satellites into lower Earth orbits. And from there, it's a very good location. But it's also a good location. And this is a bit of a mix of uh, investments that have been made by Sweden itself, by the Swedish government, in order to build up uh, and prepare this launch base. And of course, on our side, uh, to make good use of it through launches and testing new rockets and new engines. Uh, and yes, it's a very good combination of national investments and European investments with the European Space Agency. We only have about 30 seconds left, but I do want to know about your vision for the future of the site. 
Uh, the site is uh, really the first one on the European mainland. Uh, it is opening a completely new dimension of competition in the lower segment, in the lighter segment of launches and uh, on satellites. And for this, uh, uh, Sweden is really a pioneer and is opening new ways. And I'm very excited what happened today. I think this is uh, a new way of uh, designing and defining launcher capabilities for Europe. And we will be keeping a close eye on what happens up there. Josef Ashbacher, Director General of the European Space Agency. Pleasure speaking to you tonight. Thank you very much.